All right. I don't know where to find the Brian video, but I do know something I did want to talk about. We're going to talk about Jimbo real quick here. And I'll share it with you as well, Surfer. Who, Daddy Jim? Daddy Jim, because he has made some of the most insane statements lately. Just absolute fucking, bizarre statements. Did he, did he kill a pack of wild dogs that were trying to invade his house? And no, get he's declared an that function? he's going into like a hospice. But uh, I'm trying to find it here. Does anybody remember the date that he posted th that huge rant about like dying? Uh, I thought ketamine was just a street drug. No clue. It was a, an option for treatment for what? Who knows? Because Jim's illness is so convoluted and complicated. Nobody even knows what's actually wrong with him. They've just given him ketamine so he'll shut the fuck up at the hospital. Maybe. That's what I imagine. They're just like, all right, sir, here, just take this. <laughs> Nothing makes any sense. <laughs> that you've None of your symptoms make any sense, but we're going to try. We're going to try something. Uh, let's see. He tweets a okay. lot for me. He, treats, he tweets a lot for somebody who's been dying. Okay, so, okay. Well, for someone that's fucking high, stuck in a K hole, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not. A lot it's of not. Things. I can't believe this is real. So he says, currently, I've got a broken foot, rib fractures, a T six and T eight fractures in his spine, moderate to severe, kidney stones, and weeping what? edema in his legs. Now, weeping a edema. Weeping edema is like when your legs are so swollen and filled with fluid that pus starts seeping out of your legs because your body can no longer control any osmolarity. And usually you will see this in end of stage like uh, congestive heart failure and stuff. But I don't know. For whatever reason, Jim just has this. <laughs> for whatever reason, his bones are turning to dust. I don't know. Kidney stones are somehow in there with edema so bad that pus is leaking out of his skin. Okay. It's been four to five weeks of being stuck in a sitting position for 20 hours a day until I pass out. The pain is too much to lie down. So all of his bones are broken, but he can't. He's awake 20 hours a day sitting. Can you? Uh, I'm trying to even wrap my mind around how this is even working do you, are you getting any kind of image in your mind surfer jay jay just kicked the shit out of him in his anime dungeon <laughs> you think that's what happened he wouldn't, he wouldn't come up for fucking wonton noodles or whatever she cooks so i she mean it, like it comes off like this comes off like this, a schizophrenic man is writing this how does he have a broken foot Rib fractures. He's got multiple spinal fractures, which if he at T6 and T8, that's that's really high. Okay, that's really high on the spine. Uh, that's meaning that he's going to lose. I mean, he can't have any kind of control below his chest, which means, you know, like he can't have any bowel control or bladder control. He can't move his legs. When you have a fracture that high on your spinal cord and it's two fractures and he's already had multiple fractures in his spine already. I mean, how is he sitting? Like, how is any of this even happening? Like, can you feel pain if you have no spine? Does Ethan Hawke, you think, I know Ethan Hawke ain't feeling no pain. Because, I mean, there's not, there's no nerves left to feel, Jim. I'm confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> Can you explain any of this, Surfer? I'm so, conf I'm so confused how this is for real. Because, I mean, the guy basically doesn't have a spine left. So, he should be almost in complete paralysis underneath his chest. If, I mean, because... He's had multiple fractures to his spine. <laughs> oh, Did he have a bad 
fall. <laughs> yeah, Dave pushed him down the stairs and then beat him with a bat and broke all According of his bones. According to Jim, his Dave bones are fingers. just spontaneously combusting at random. I mean, no, this is I'm, his story. Because I've certainly heard Jim like talk in the past like in his older days before yeah. he was as big as he is now and this big grifter about like the morality of like making fun of people in this exact position and how you know like you just gotta lighten up you know and there's nothing really wrong with it so i think it's almost like a shit test of his audience he knows his audience is just a bunch of retard fucking pay pigs now well but it's you like know, so extreme no it's so extreme now though like who no, writes write-ups fine. like this so he puts out this shit and they'll go oh daddy jim we feel so bad for you but none of them have the sense of humor that he tried to cultivate in his whole fucking career that's on true YouTube. so you think this Never is like this is an interesting theory I sort of agree with. Do you think this is like a big fuck you to his audience? For I mean, yeah, maybe not his original audience, but like the audience that he's created. The well, yeah, the Sweetie fun. Squad, yeah. I believe, I actually do believe that. I've thought that many times that this is like a fuck you and, you know, I, I was against the grifting and I was against all of these things, but these people like are just soulless husks of human beings. And I'm going to milk them for every penny they're worth. I, I, Like, you know, like the conversion Ashton had. This is the conversion that Ashton had as well. Like, one day he just woke up and he just decided that, you know... Yeah, it, but Ashton never had that conversion. Uh, that was always Ashton's heart of hearts. Whereas I think with Jim, it was a genuine No, I saw a genuine part of him one day just be like, I just hate all of these people and I want to take as much money from them as I possibly can. I saw no, the Ashton awakening. Has always, Ashton has always hated all these people. I'm now, like, do I think that like, was in the back of his mind God. the whole time? Yes. But I saw it come to, like, the the front of his mind, you know. It took over <laughs> before he was able to say it wasn't true. Yeah. But he can no I longer think, deny it. I think with him, it's like, uh, like actual fucking... You know, like a more of a conversion, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. And then the comments are like insane on these. Uh, uh, the comments are insane. And then somewhere in these comments, Jim says the doctor said after listing all this stuff out, he says the doctor says I have a year to three years. A year well, to three years. The guy doesn't have any bones left. His skin well, is breaking and weeping with pus. It's obviously a fucking LARP because the guy doesn't leave his anime dungeon. How did Jim break every bone in his body without leaving the anime dungeon? The guy doesn't even go outside to cut his lawn because everyone knows where he lives, right? Like, Jade does all the fucking chores. The guy just watches fucking anime in his well, dungeon. How let, did he break his... <laughs> let's read this next one. It says, I'm waiting... On one last test. Next week. The hope is it's good. I could come off the Brylenta and other heart meds and start doing some actual interventions. Especially in the spine. Some kind of plaster they inject to help stabilize it. So now Jim is acting like he's going to be getting treatment after stating like his skin is weeping pus and his bones are dust and he's in agonizing pain yeah somehow the surgeon is gonna plaster him back together and he'll be fine well no person person the reason why he's doing this just read the very next comment from harry <laughs> read harry's comment <laughs> <laughs> and look, Kim Park, one of my chatters, is also on here on Twitter. It says, really very sorry to hear all this, Jim. I've been a fan for 10 years now. And will go back to watch your videos for as long as I'm alive. <laughs> and they're still on the internet. I bought a hat for the cause. Hope the tests come out well. What tests? His bones are dust. He's telling us he's dying. His Even his skin is flaying off. 
in a festering, swelling mess. He's saying he's in pain, waiting 20 hours a day, sitting there, wishing for death. But he's still getting tested and wants to get surgery to put plaster his spine back together. He like, but he like masturbates and cries as he <laughs> like, watches What is happening? Video. This is the, the it it is, is, this is like the craziest shit I've ever. The only bitch that I've ever seen. There was an Australian bitch many years ago, who said she had brain cancer and cured it with diet. Of course. She never, there was nothing, there was never anything wrong with her, but like she scammed people for like millions and millions of dollars. They really thought this bitch had brain cancer. Okay. And she converted a lot of these cancer people into believing they could cure their cancer by eating like fruits and vegetables every day. Okay. Because that would totally work. You know, if you could do that, obviously nobody would have cancer anymore, but. I don't know, like, it, it's even worse than any scam I've ever seen with people with fake illnesses. And it's like, you almost want to believe that this is a real illness, but the statistical impossibility of this happening to a human being is like, one, you have a better chance of winning the lottery like five times. Jim just rolled from one cushion to the other in his anime dungeon and broke every bone in his body. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never heard of somebody with B-cell lymphoma's bones turning to dust. And then having, uh, you know, having multiple heart attacks. Like, these are not really things related to B-cell lymphoma or tuberculosis. So... And Jim has had a, a variety of mental disorders that are cherry-picked and a variety of physical disorders that are incredibly rare. Like, rarer than one in a million. But I've never heard of any of these... Uh, I, I, I've never heard of somebody having all of these super rare diseases all together <laughs> in a person. Unless you think Jim looks like like Eric the Midget or something, or like Hot Wheels. The thing is, if if Jim, because um, Hot Wheels has uh, osteogenesis imperfecta, right, which is a congenital disease, which Jim would be able to easily show. It says possible, when he showed all his medical records, it says possible congenital disease. But they're never able to identify the mysterious disease, even though they've done multiple um, DNA multiple DNA tests. Jim does not have any identifiable disease that is congenital or otherwise. He's showing all the tests, but all the results are completely ambiguous. I don't know how this would be possible if... Jim really had an unknown disease. The Mayo Clinic would have accepted him by now. He applied over four years ago. I mean, there are a lot of doctors who would be willing to do research on a person with a completely unexplained illness. So there's something that's not right here. And look, Kim Parks writes... Look at what uh, chat, what is this, chat GDP or some fucking AI. Primary hyperparathoidimus. But Jim doesn't have that because he has symptoms of Cushing's disease in Hashimoto's, which is the exact opposite of hyperparathyroidus. Uh, so. <laughs> I have a thyroid autoimmune Hashimoto's. However, the doctors are always keeping an eye on it through blood work. They've been really good about testing it. I mean, if your bones were... Wouldn't you just say, uh, I'm ready to go? I don't, I don't know. Like, I do feel bad if it's somehow possible. You figure out in the medical field that there is nothing that is impossible. But there are things that are, you know, like... Almost impossible. Like Jim's multitude of illnesses. That have no explanation. 
Uh, Linux. This is my layman's opinion on your illness. They put together yeah, like a paste bin fucking <laughs> yeah. collection. Of well, there's like a collection of a thousand illnesses that this guy has that are all completely unrelated to each other. Where is Dr. House? Not even Dr. House could figure this out. But somewhere there's what I mean, right? Like every one of these chatters are all marks. They all just fucking eat it up, you know. If it was Jim, if it was Jim and he was watching someone die like this, he'd fucking yeah. make fun jokes and be. The well, he's been man he's screamed about boogie boy. grifting his audience with fake cancer. <laughs> he was very offended by that. I'm trying to find the the post where he talks about the doctor says he has like one to three years to live. How is that even possible? This guy has had multiple heart attacks, strokes. His bones are turning to dust. His kidneys and liver aren't functioning anymore. He can't even walk. His body... It, it, he has so much edema that he has weeping edema where pus is flowing out of his skin. How are you going to live for another year to three years, Jim? <laughs> Explain that. That's another miracle. What? But I cannot find this post where he says he's going to live another year to three years. Could you explain it, Dr. Surfer? Can you give me an explanation? Oh, yeah, I already gave you an explanation. And, you know, well, I that think it's I'm fake, right. yeah. Well, I almost you know, agree I, I with you. I think I'm right about that. I was hospitalized for a day recently to get the pain under control. They pumped me full of pretty much everything and gave me some IV pain med device I could no, push. Go back, go back, person. Go back to wherever that comment was you were just reading before you clicked. Hedamine is fun. No, it was the reply to that. You know, the story isn't in actually Jim's tweets, but the story is in all of the fucking comments. Yeah, I know, just... I know. I, it's oh, hard I to find a cure. We've got to find a cure to <laughs> save cure. our daddy. There Jim. is no cure for oh. all of your bones turning to dust. There's no cure for that. Not in any dimension that I know of is there a cure what for is, any of these diseases. What is what does Michael Alberto say? Well, Jim says I told my wife to be shameless about it. Get that money. Puppet my corpse for donos, whatever you want to do. I prepaid for a finger. Honestly, I think given Jade's history, she'd probably <laughs> rather sell her own body than Jim's. Oh, well, we don't know that. She might sell off pieces of Jim's body to the Sweetie Squad for the highest bidder. So she could really be so fucking cut them off or cut off all his fucking the irony is it's not even gonna be jim it's gonna be like they're gonna raid some corpse from the cemetery and send out the bones and jim's gonna be profiting off the money <laughs> hey michael alberto i remember a few years ago you told me you thought you only had a few months he's been left. saying that since 2017 I'm glad you've got to spend more time with your family and friends and enjoy your hobbies. Dude, I he's... pray it gets better. May he's... God bless you and your loved ones. John 360. <laughs> oh. It's just crazy. It's crazy, man. This guy has been in his final hours for the last six years. He's been close to... He's been literally on death's door, but they still won't let him into hospice. They won't let him into the hospice, though. They're keeping him from the hospice, those malicious bastards. They won't let Jim into the hospice. These it's, comments... These comments he are says, the Look, reason why Jim yeah. does it. He says, shit, man, have you considered everything now? You sound like you're about to go into hospice. The way some of these read. I'm close. I'm close, TV. It's been a rough six weeks. Jim, you have been close to going into hospice for six years. I've never heard of such nonsense, Jim. 
you know, I've heard of people being in hospice and accepted into hospice for multiple years. I have heard of that. I've never heard of somebody whose bones are turning to dust, who's had multiple heart attacks, cancer, and every other fucking and, and multiple organ failure not be allowed into hospice for six years, Jim. Never heard of it. And he doesn't even have a port. But he's talking about getting a port into his spine that doesn't exist. I'm looking for that next post. Where Jim talks about they want to put a port, a literal mechanical port into his non-existent spine. Which is not even where they would put a port. He should already have a port, like, on his clavicle. If he's really had what's been happening to him that he says has been happening to him for the last six years this guy should have already had a port installed into his clavicle six years ago none of this makes sense it doesn't make sense surfer it makes me crazy it says is jim that, says here that... the way it has been explained is that you hit an amount of painkiller so high it could be dangerous, so by injecting it directly, it could be... Jim, your bones are turning to dust. Your Jim heart is, is barely functioning. Straight. You said you're Jim, in agonizing Jim pain. What the straight. fuck do you care if the painkillers pain kill you? What do you care? Richard I, Noggin is right. Is that like when your stomach can't take the booze anymore, so you pour it in your arse? <laughs> well, it's yeah. actually not quite like that. No, it's I've not. Got like a buddy, I've got a buddy that's been an alcoholic for many years, and yes. he told me about stringing, where you don't actually pour the alcohol in your ass, but you soak, you soak a fucking tampon with liquor, and you put the tampon soaked with liquor in your eye. You know, so you're yeah. not actually like drinking and it gets you way more fucking drunk. Well, but Jim that, is saying that, that his spine is that, no longer existent. So how is he how is he feeling pain in the spine yeah, that so is that, non existent? Does Ethan Hawk feel pain, Jim? Jim? Gotta go stringing. Jim's gotta go stringing with the painkillers. They need to soak them into a tampon and put yeah. them in Jim's ass. And then Jim's pain yeah. will go away. All of Jim's pain will be gone once he puts the tampon soaked with the lauded in his ass. Well, maybe. I, I, Jim is saying he's it could kill him, though. If he takes too much pain meds, it could actually take his life. He wouldn't want to die having a, dis a disintegrating organs and bones. Uh, he wants to live longer. He wants to keep trucking, bro. No, I think it would be fentanyl or morphine. Not sure which drug, just that it would directly go into this. It wouldn't be either of those drugs, I don't believe, if they're doing it directly into the spine. Let's see. <laughs> then Jim, after saying all of this, all of this about how he's in agonizing pain, he's in organ failure, his bones are dust, he's in agonizing pain, he's up for 20 hours a day, he says, <laughs> the doctor, so they say, how have they estimated how much you've got left? Jim says, after been dying and on his last legs for the last six years, says, the doctor says, I have one to three years is the assessment. You think this doctor is, is shaggy? Somebody smoking crack has given Jim the assessment. This doctor, this crackhead under the bridge has told Jim he has a year to three years to live. With systemic organ failure and glass bones, cancer circulatory problems the word every problem that you could possibly have but somehow jim has one to three more years to grift and he says i just got a few days ago but the discussion is focused more on is it worth furting to get to three years with this level of pain how are you going to make it to, to three years jeez man <laughs> Jeez, man.
my thoughts and prayers to you. <laughs> People believe There's this crap. Not spirit. Not spirit to Is there anything anyone can do for you? Like curate a playlist of funny shit you like or something. It's not it's real, sort of, people. This is ridiculous. Person, the sort it can't of person be real. That the sort of person that fucking eats this up. Their name on Twitter is the Revenant, and their at is Spirit Absolved. <laughs> 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 the next person. I was a hot a social worker for a bit. I've read some of the literature. I would consider microdosing magic <laughs> yeah, this was like, a I'll hospital, so, a a hospital social the worker. <laughs> the literature in this area is promising. promising. Yeah, that'll cure. Do some magic mushrooms, Jim. It'll reform your glass and disintegrated bones. Well, the the lit the literature per sip is promising. <laughs> what kind of retard would write something like that? I can, I don't know if these are even real people. I don't believe any of this Nils is real. Van, Nils Van Otterloo. <laughs> Buddha Cat. Scroll up. Scroll up. Yeah. Buddha Cat. What does Buddha Cat say? Buddha Cat. Where do you see Buddha Cat? You're going down. You got to go up. You got to go up. You're going down first. That's Sparky's tech corner. I'm right. going up, surfer. Buddha Cat. No, okay. You're going, Jesus, you're going, Jim. You're going down. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I could see the Buddha cat thing. It says, Jesus, Jim, I can only imagine this kind of pain. Even if you go into hospice, you're going to have Jade do an AI version of you for streams. I mean, the, the comment section is insane. Surfer, are you hey, looking buddy, at they, our they, share they, screen? They were, are you no, looking at our share screen? Stream. Yeah, that's I know. I'm that's fine. why you're all fucked up. Yeah. yeah. You know, but like, buddy, buddy, they've been doing an AI version of Jim for like three years. It really feels <laughs> you know? that way. Is this, is this a new idea that's come to your mind, Buddha Cat? We're going to have to get Jay. Do you think to these are real AI people, version? though? Like, none of this feels real. It all feels like some kind of, like, this all takes place in Brian's head. Because this is Brian's fantasy for Jim. Because Brian would love to see Jim. You know, like, just curse him to have all of his bones turn to dust and to be tortured every day like this. It's like Brian's absolute you think fantasy. Brian wrote the fucking AI. <laughs> so, yeah, I thoughts. think it's like an AI creation of Brian's. Now, there is a fucking theory right out of the <laughs> Brian. So. <laughs> you know, that's the deepest. Well, bro, I had to be God. in it. Oh, Look, this Sparky God. tech coin, that sucks. Just post an orangutan. <laughs> Is this not the most disturbing thing that you've ever seen? It's like this guy is like, my bones are dust. I'm in agonizing pain. I pray every day that I don't <laughs> die screaming. God. And then like, this is like the comment section. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you will be the god emperor of the golden throne at this rate, being kept alive by the soul. Well, this is of what's happening, basically. I mean, he is the god emperor on the golden throne. Like somehow he's been able to live in limbo as a zombie for the last six years. <laughs> This is insane. Yeah. And he wants us to believe, like, anybody who's been in a medical field. Jim, how do you not have a port? How are you getting a new IV every time you go to... You, you said you've been on death's door for the last six years. None of this makes any sense. K Ketamine ain't weird, my friend. That's <laughs> legit one of the best drugs available. To Give him some ketamine, yeah, yeah, because he's mental. You know what they use ketamine for? They use people, they treat people with ketamine who have severe mental illness. I thought they used ketamine to tranquilize large animals. Like they horses. use it to tranquilize, actually, so ketamine has a lot of practical uses. But yes, ketamine is used on horses as a tranquilizer. It's also used on children, like when they're getting stitches. Uh, 
they use ketamine a lot of time because what it does is ketamine makes you very calm because it makes it like it's an out of body experience like you're watching what is happening and so you're not afraid of what you're seeing and so it, it it's uh not only does it calm the children and they don't feel any pain but it removes all of their anxiety so you'll see ketamine used a lot uh as far as that goes as well it has a lot of practical uses ketamine but people abuse it as like a party drug as well yeah uh, I, i've never been given it medically i've only ever done it once and i uh, what'd you do it uh, to get yeah what'd you get I stuck in a k-hole no i only ra i only did one line of it that's when you I know that you're at a party that you need to leave immediately when somebody's in a k-hole fucking rocking back and forth in a corner that's what you know okay uh, it's time for me to go immediately. Like, this party is a little much for me. I'm getting the fuck out of here. In a K hole, rocking back and forth in a corner, doxing Brian's wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, I thought all that chemotherapy would send your. I mean, the, the comments are just as insane as Jim's post. So you do really have a, a post. You do really have a point. I mean, these posts are insane. Oh, someone comments we out here says, "God damn, all these replies are gay." <laughs> <laughs> That's the realest comment. That's probably the only real comment out of maybe a thousand. Yeah. That we through at this point. God <laughs> damn, all these replies are gay. I mean, they really are. I mean, it's more embarrassing. I remember them talking about doing that with my mom. Luckily, her Crohn's improved and she just developed an oxycodone addiction instead. All good now. Sorry you're dealing yeah, with so you much. <laughs> Have you tried smoking yeah, some weed? I don't think the weed is going to help, bro. <laughs> Whatever mental illness Jim has, I mean. I don't think weed is going to help. <laughs> and then know, the he just responds with this. Personal family trauma and Jim's fucking... And that's really it. You know, a lot of these people are the way they are because of, like, personal trauma they've gone through in their yeah. life like that. But this is just their crazy. This is just oxy. nuts. And Jim has had, like, these broken ribs for the last, like, four years. He's had these broken ribs. And he's had, like... Every week he has a new fracture in his spine. I remember every single part of his lumbar spine has already fractured. Like, how does he have any feeling left in his in his spine is my question. How does he type on the computer? Yeah, like how hand? is he yeah, how do how do you <laughs> get to the computer to type so like fifty tweets a day about this? You know, does he just verbalize it like Stephen Hawking? You know, he's in like some sort of, they've got Jim hooked up to some sort of fucking chair where like he thinks these things into existence on the internet. Well, there's no point in replying to this. The, 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 replying to this is just as crazy as taking this seriously. It's just like whatever. I mean, who could even make heads or tails of this? Like, Jim can't expect people to believe this nonsense. You know, and they're still, like, posting the fucking, like, Bane thing. Like, Jim is this fucking, yeah, like, like, strong fucking Chad superhero that they look up I to. I don't care if he posts the medical people. records. Those medical records make even less sense than this bullshit he's tweeting about. You read the medical records, there is no explanation in those medical records for anything that has happened to Jim. They're just diagnostic tests. There is no diagnosis of any kind except B-cell lymphoma, which is completely unrelated to every other symptom Jim has had. I mean, they've diagnosed him with having a heart attack, but 
why would a man in his early 40s mysteriously have that heart attack? There is no explanation for that. There's no Do explanation it. for any of these things. Yeah, like, like, like he's Become literally 30. back at Jim. Please don't die. I like the, the the responses to this are even more insane. Don't leave me, Jim. I might stream and make an idiot out of myself just so you could make fun of me. Don't leave us. So it's like, you know, like, and then he responds, you know, like his response to these tweets, it's like, my bones are dust today. I scream in pain from my bed and wish that I had died. Please leave money for Jade. And it's just like, could you really even take it seriously? I, I mean, I don't know. There's like Mersh is outraged by this, but I just think it's it's just insane. It's I don't know. It's just an experience reading it, I suppose. And then he posts this, like some guy getting a twenty foot dildo taken out of his intestines. So like in between <laughs> complaining of his imminent death. And the pain he's in, it's just like a shit post. Okay. And then he says, I made it through the first five films. I can still restart it, but with a broken back, aren't I suffering enough? I've seen a few video streams now, Blow Blocks thing. I still have no clue about it. Uh... Is it that he seriously made up having a mental disorder to avoid mean tweets on Twitter? Also, did he legit ask people to pay his rent? Bro. Now, like, Jim has to know there's a level of irony to this, right? Do you think he realizes there's a level of irony as Jim begs for money for his mysterious illnesses every day on Twitter to buy his hats? Surfer, are you there? <laughs> Where? Yeah, I'm still there. <laughs> are you I, here? I gotta go to bed here shortly for a second. I've just I've just downloaded the Murdoch Murdoch archive okay. and I'd like to watch I'd like to watch the Galaxy M eighty eight episode and then go to bed really to be honest with you. Um Yes. It's my my take on what we're seeing is it's it's just it's sad, you know, it's what we see in the comments is so diametrically opposed to the culture that Jim tried to create in his early days. Yes. You know. Well, that's, I mean, uh, nobody can really even argue with that. Jim used to make fun of people like this all the time. I mean, his name is literally Moshi Moshi Moan. At Moshi Moshi Moan. So I have to think that this is all a gigantic joke on his fans. Like, he's just, you know, like, he hates his audience so much that he has to perpetually fuck with them every single day like this. That is my explanation yeah. of this, because there's no other explanation that I could think of. Where he's changed his name to Moshi Moshi Moan. <laughs> with his anime dungeon where he says he pleads for death every day, but somehow he still lives. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. So I know. think it is a giant joke, almost. It has to be. I I mean, take, just looking at this objectively, because you try to think, you try to think. Well, before Jim was a grifter, like why why did he do what he did? You know? Well, let's read this one. It says, "The further you get into medical stuff, near the end." The stranger the suggestions become. You've been at the end, Jim, for six years, by the way. I thought ketamine was weird, but now they're talking about a pain pump surgically implanted. Goofball right to the spine. Well, yeah, Jim. Normally, people get something called a port, which is put right into your, like, where your clavicle is. And... You know, it's just like an IV that people, they can take in and out because you need so many meds that you should have gotten six years ago. But now you're talking about getting uh, one into his spine, I guess. 
They've just come up with this now. This guy has been dying for six years. How are you closer to the end? You were dead six years ago. This is what I don't understand is he keeps pretending like he's getting closer and closer to death when he's literally been dying for the last six, been literally, if you read the Chud Bud leaks, he tells Michael Alberto he'll be dead any day. How many years ago was that? I don't know. Well, I, I think maybe... Surfer is now discussed. He, we've gone so far over the the gym stuff. I think Surfer is disgusted into silence, which I'm surprised about. But no, I'm just thinking, Persip. I'm just thinking. You can maybe, get a pain maybe, pump into your yeah. spine, but Jim's spine, don't forget, is completely disintegrated. So where's? But where's it's not. But it's not. But it's not. <laughs> All, all jokes aside, his spine is completely fine. It's just a big <laughs> fucking heart. But maybe, maybe, before before he was a shameless grifter, what he created was for a community that maybe now Jim perceives as being dead. Hmm. So you consider Jim already now, dead? Now, now Jim larps like he's on the verge of death because he's realized that that whole portion of his life hmm. was but vanity was merely vanity and for naught hmm. the community is now dead and it's a sad state of affairs you know it's sad to see if that is the case well, he's been pretending he's been dying for so long at this point. Like, I remember Jim was pretending he was dying in, like, 2016. I remember when Jim announced he, he caught tuberculosis from a Somali refugee. And everybody forgets, like, all of the times this guy has said that he was imminently dying from some mysterious illness. I've never seen a guy that's been dying for this long, though. Like, Jim, like, it's, it is eventually going to happen, bro. I mean, eventually you are going to die. We're all going to die. So I, I don't know if it's just a fear of death or if this is mental illness. The number one if this is a long-term is... troll. The number one comment Will you is... stream your funeral? I can guarantee that the Super Chats will be nothing but slurves and your wife will be slept for life. And Jim says, yes, of course. We're going to stream my funeral. Even though I've been so paranoid my entire life, I've not even... I've never allowed a picture of myself to be on the internet. We're going to stream my corpse in my funeral. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!